Okay, here we are, inside the UN, through the tourist entrance. The Committee on Information. Let's check it out. This is an organization that throws journalists in the street. But the Committee on Information, maybe we'll explain why it's devolved into little more than a propaganda shop, which, as a conflict of interest, is allowed to restrict some journalists and give... This is Allison Smale's Department of Public Information. Faux documentaries. But more importantly... Egypt. Egypt is the first speaker overseeing DPIs, talking about the danger of news as they keep Shakan in jail. And as Allison Smale awards Inner City Press's office to CC State Media, Akbar Al Yam, whose son Yusuf ne- rarely comes in and has not asked a question in 10 years of inaccurate information, as well as the use of information technology to subvert the legal and political order of states, could potentially have a very significant negative impact on the global community, whether as a whole or with regards to individual member states. Mr. Chair, the question of Palestine continues to deserve... I apologize, but this was a nice uh, entertainment uh, in, in between. <laughs> it, was a, it was an interlude. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, the question of Palestine continues to deserve our special attention. Egypt is a censor. Egypt has journalists locked up. Masr Masri raids websites offices. And she loves it. Taking notes, we can censor better. We already gave you Inner City Press's office for a no-show. Do you want the focus booth, too? Disgusting. Probably the best part of the meeting. Oh. Whoa. The rare Palestine censorship joke. Oh. Who's next? Burundi? Morocco? Oh, these guys have done absolutely nothing to fight censorship at the UN, but let's see. Where's Rocco Morocco? Right there. Rocco Morocco. Where is he? Are these all DPI staffers? There's Isabel Breuer. There's no public here. It's all just people getting paid to sit. Hua Jang, the other guy. Where is the public? There's no public. No public here, just censorship corner. Oh, yes. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, if you like Nazra so much. There we go. I could write a story about this. Absolutely disgusting. Has also been produced in all six official languages. Mr. Chair, 
В связи с предстоящими важными мероприятиями по проблематике мира и безопасности, следует Okay, here we are, inside the UN, through the tourist entrance, the Committee on Information. Let's check it out. This is an organization that throws journalists in the street, but the Committee on Information, maybe we'll explain why it's devolved into little more than pro a propaganda shop, which, as a conflict of interest, is allowed to restrict some journalists and give full access to sycophantious regime. Yes, it's true. We have the Austrian ambassador. We have Mr. Darren Ferrant. Who else do we have? Let's name those players. We have the Ukrainian spokesman. This is the Committee on Information. They supposedly provide oversight to the Department of Public Information, which has no content neutral rules, which keeps critical investigative media in the street while allowing state media from Egypt, inner city press's office, full access down the hall. So it turns out if you're a dictator media who never comes in and never asks questions, the Department of Public Information is crazy about you. They love you. And if you actually report, as a journalist is supposed to, on UN corruption and ask questions and pursue, and, and I don't want to say it's pushing the limits. We went into the briefing room and said, we have a right to be here. And if you have a piece of paper that says we don't, we'll leave. And if you don't, if a security guard asks us to leave, we'll leave. But we're not going to leave because the spokesman says to leave. And I don't know where and when, I think it'll conference room three, the fraud of World Press Freedom Day at the UN will take place. It's Thursday, May, May 3rd. It'll happen in two days. A mere 48 hours from now, there'll be an even more, even more hypocritical meeting. But this one today will give you a flavor of the lack of oversight of the censors. Most countries just want, most countries simply want DPI to put out their press releases in their language and praise them. Nobody cares. In fact, well, I'm not going to blame the member states. I blame, I put the blame exactly where it b belongs. Let's zero in. Yes, it's true. How can this department bumble around for six months without a single response? It's not just inner city press that wrote. There's a petition with 5,000 signatures. Who else is responsible? We'll turn in a moment. This is the place. This is the room. This then is the Committee on Information. Wait a second, we've got some more communicators. This is a whole team of communicators. Wa Jang, we have the lady who said, don't ask. What did she say? Oh, that's right. There was some press conference and they said, no, no.